everybody. Welcome to Struggle City. Take two. Or three. You'll never know. <laughs> I deleted all of my flubs. Because Ooh. they were bad. And there's gigabytes worth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, we're both uh, guilty of that, so that's fine. Oh, yeah. You talked about having a, me having a mini stroke earlier. And <laughs> it, it surfaced on the mic this time. One of many. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh no! Let's not. Let's not. It didn't. It didn't. It's too late. It's too late for that. Anyway, speaking of horrible mistakes and bad ideas by David, let's go to our Facebook polls. Well, that's right. I always forget you do those. Yeah, I. Uh, they're usually inspired by ads that pop up on my phone or on the radio. <laughs> and then I go, ha ha ha, that'd be funny. And then I do a thing, because I'm irresponsible and a 12-year-old. And then you realize it's not funny. Well, 15 people as of right now have voted, Ooh. and 110 people have seen it. So, I mean, percentages aren't great, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's like everyday voting. Yeah. Yeah, most of them are young people, too. It's like Facebook has been gerrymandered. <laughs> Anyway, right now, the um, the story behind this, I should really open up with the story. Uh, I was in the car with Abby, you know, talking, and this ad for Big's Vapor Up came up. Or at least that's the story I'm sticking to. It might have just randomly popped Where up. Where the hell head. did you hear an ad for it? I don't know. <laughs> well, presumably on the radio because you're in the car. Yeah, but there's also the possibility so in my weird. brain just went, you know, Big's Vapor Up is really funny. And then I just went down that route. You know it's a terrible thing to masturbate <laughs> with. <laughs> Porcupine. Oh, nope. Oh, boy. Anyway. I don't like that. Um, The post currently reads, if you don't follow us on Facebook, please do. The link's going to be in the description. You know, it's all over the place. Um, Let the internet decide. Big vapor up. Is it this or that? And the this or that is spicy jam or freezy hot rub. Currently, Freezy Hot Rub is in the lead by 20%. Freezy Hot Rub? Yes, because it's freezy and then it kind of burns. Right, no, I get I get the principle yeah. of of Vix, but what? Freezy Hot, why? I don't... Because David. it made me giggle like a Japanese schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, okay. Fix Rapper Sapso. Whatever that was just left the worst taste in my mouth. Oh, God. Uh, it's been a week, guys. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm quitting. Yeah, I am quitting. Broken. I'm quitting this. Uh, well... Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I get it after this one. <laughs> Let's finish this episode out. Maybe that bad taste will go away. Probably after, not. Uh, It'll just get worse. Eat some spicy jam. <sighs> what do you guys think? Comment down below. Spicy jam. Freezy hot rub. Oh, speaking of spicy jam. um, So hot sauce. What? Yeah. Is, <laughs> is hot sauce not just like spicy jam? It depends on the hot sauce. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Um... I had a dumb experience with hot sauce the other week. Where did you put it? I ate it. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm not going to make that mistake twice. Um, oh. <laughs> wow. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Stop trying to bring it back. Uh, I went over to a friend's house and we're playing board games. We we did a little bit of drinking. And she mentions that she got her boyfriend this uh, like variety pack of hot sauces. And the, you know, it was nice all. Well, it was a nice gift. It's a nice yeah. little thing, um, ranging from like mild to to death. Um, as life does. As life does. I and it was like a nice assortment, and any normal person would have tried them in like descending order, or like ascending order, I guess. Ascending yeah, from ascending. mild to death. Um, I went right to death. As I Casey does. I believe it was called Zombie Apocalypse. Oh yeah, 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 that was on hot ones. Yeah, it's it's made with um, ghost and scorpion peppers. Yeah, that's some hot. Shit. So I took a spoon, and I put like a pretty generous helping, and put it on the spoon, and I placed the spoon on my tongue. 
Not even like, oh, let me just like lick a little bit. I'm going to put the entire concavity of the spoon onto my tongue. How'd that go? It didn't go well. Um, my entire mouth burned like never before. Radiating throughout my entire mouth. I couldn't feel my tongue. Uh, the roof of my mouth was on actual fire. And I couldn't tell if I went actually blind for a second or just from the tears I couldn't see. Holy shit. I put a good amount on my tongue. Are you nuts? I'm not intelligent, no. Well, I mean, the best way to live is not intelligent. I'm, I'm going to admit that I am I am not a smart person. You're a dumb one with a degree. Sure. Mm. <laughs> um, and... As my mouth is burning, I'm trying to think of things that will put out the fire. Because I, I can't do milk because it's lactose intolerant. Um, cult, uh, what was it? Can cantaloupe. Yeah. Cantaloupe worked beautifully. Yeah, it's got the natural sugars in there that mm-hmm. uh, you activate your taste buds. My spicy boys. Yeah, the ca- capsation, I think yeah. it's called. But um, that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth tingled the day after. Damn. Yeah. That's impressive. Mm-hmm. That's impressive. That is, that's... My my taste was all askew for like a couple days. I don't recommend it. Like I do recommend it because it was it was delicious despite the pain. But um, I don't don't do what I did. How was the aftermath? What do you mean? Uh, were there toilet troubles? No. No. I didn't. I didn't eat anything with it. Like, okay. on it, it's just, I took a, a dollop and covered my tongue in it. You just straight-lined it. Yeah, I just mainlined it. Mainlined it. Straight-lined it. Same thing. No. <laughs> Not quite. I knew what you were going for, but you did it wrong. My life. <laughs> Knowing what I'm going, like, like uh, uh, I never played Saul. Oh, yeah. Bad time. I mean, to be fair, that's also an, an accurate statement, because they made video games on it. They did. Yeah. I didn't know that, though. They made two, I think? Both for the X-Bone? That's unfortunate. I've never... I, well, I was never going to play them. It doesn't I've, seem like a good game. I've seen playthrough, play, uh, playthroughs of them, and it's funny. It's really funny because it feels like they just... They really took the Saw movies to heart for the games. Damn. Yeah. But oddly enough, they didn't include the... the the somewhat iconic score that the movies had. They might not have had the rights to it. But they had the, like, all the images and even Tobin Bell. The, the guy who plays Jigsaw. Who knows? Music is funny. Like yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, the studio might not have greenlit the music or something like that. <laughs> because they knew how much of a dog shit pile the games would be. Yeah, so they're like, you're not gonna ruin the one good thing we have going for it. <laughs> the, the franchise that just won't die. And yeah, it just needs to be uh, sawed off. On that note, I'm done. Right, see, see, see you later, Casey. See you never. And that's all they sung for <laughs> Struggle City. Thanks for tuning in for the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, moral of that story was uh, don't don't just shove hot sauce in your face. Yeah, that's a pretty good, pretty good. Uh... Or uh, if you're going to at least build up to. The, the hottest hot yeah, sauce? Sim- like it's um similar to uh, Hot Ones. Have you ever seen... I don't, I don't know what that is. You should check it out. It's like an interview, but they eat chicken wings with gradually increasing heat. Mm. It's, it's interesting, because uh, the host, Sean, uh, does a lot of research on the people he interviews. To the it, point where... As you should for an interview. Well, not everyone does it. <laughs> <laughs> and also, why I hate chicken wings. Well, uh, it's it's, it's like just a, it's just a chicken nugget with extra steps. Yeah. Why? Because it it, it breaks down a person. You know what I'm saying? Chicken wings do? Yeah. You get messy. You get messy while you're eating. It's not I'm fine with getting thing. messy, but it's just like it's just a chicken nugget with extra steps. Yeah. It's and about unnecessary it. extra work. It's like crabs. Ah, oh, God. It's like eating crabs or lot. Well, not even lobster. Lobsters usually well, free, well, open for you. Well, no, you still have to like crack through the tail and the claws. If they give them to you, if you, if they give you the the claws, they usually don't. You know? yeah, sometimes they do, yeah. The tail but yeah. is usually open. I've had to crack open tails. 
that's fun. Yeah, tails and bodies. We weren't talking about lobsters. That would, <laughs> that would be a terrifying <laughs> sentence. Yeah, crab, crabs and lobsters are... They're, they're tasty, but they're not worth the effort. I would disagree. I enjoy the how cathartic it is going through the body of a crab and just picking out the little morsels of meat. And it's just it's not, not worth it. Like I want, I want a meal. I don't want to build a fucking model. Someone like, shoving your finger and trying to get the little bits of meat out. It's like that's a what dead. the little fork is for, you savage. Yeah, no utensils, only crackers. No, crack, you, crack. Use, you use utensils. Nah, nah. You have opposable thumbs. You've mastered for the most part indoor plumbing. Okay, one time. That's. I'm not gonna talk about that on the air. <laughs> no, we're gonna talk about that on the air when you shit your pants at school. It was kindergarten. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> one damn time, I shit my pants in kindergarten while I was in the parking lot on field day. Never mind the fact that it was last week and you have a restraining order against the school. It was that kindergarten? I was in. I was in. Not at. I was in. <laughs> I was you, attending. you broke into the school, made your way into the kindergarten. I was attending class. <laughs> Not in college. In kindergarten. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not going to be one to judge how you date. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Low no, blow. no matter how you try to defend it, I will find a way to skew it. I was enrolled in kindergarten. At the age of six. Whatever you want to put on paper, sure. <laughs> Alright, I shit my pants <laughs> last week, okay? <laughs> you can't defend it, Dave. I'm over it. Everyone else should be over it. I'm also, it's really... June. What were you doing at school? <laughs> <laughs> Dave's just given up as he should yeah I can't afford summer school so <laughs> so uh, yeah <laughs> there's that um but yeah like have you ever had like a, a good hot sauce experience yeah like do you have a favorite type of hot sauce I just go sriracha sriracha never had sriracha cause that's cause with like a lot of other hot sauces it they just focus on just burning you because with a, a lot of American hot sauces, it's either ju they're just going to burn your taste buds out of your face, yeah, or there's just nothing to it. With sriracha, at least you get heat and flavor. I would agree if I had tried sriracha before. Yeah. I've never had it. Like, there's knockoffs, too, of sriracha, but you you have to go for the one with the rooster on the bottle. Of course. And Cause the green that's, top? Yeah, because that's the only legit official one. Because um, there's almost nothing you can't put sriracha on. I've even, I, I've even added it to pasta sauces. I believe it. And it works so well. Yeah, it's, isn't that a red pepper? It's, red pepper? It's, uh, yeah, chili. Chili? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's something yeah, to tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. to too. It's perfect. The one hot sauce that I really like that I, I just discovered, and I don't remember the name brand, but, um... Jay's Steak and Hoagie Shack. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. The, and there's a local guy, too, that mm -hmm. does it. And it's banging. It's got, like, a sweet and, like, savory type thing going on. Yeah, I've had that one. Decent. That was really good. I was very impressed. Um, I, I did, I, as much as I love his pretzel rolls, I found a better one not that long ago. Really? Yeah. Uh, for the Well, for the first time ever, I went to Six Flags. Really? Yes. Uh, was that the day I was there? Too? Yes! And we, we kept, kept missing each other. Missing each other? Um, yeah. Because it was the, the <laughs> food truck festival. Yeah. I forget the name of the food truck, but they had uh, pretzel braids that they just sliced down the middle. Not all the way, but just like kind of cut a little Almost like a groove braid. into it. Like a, um, uh, like a, a, a main type lobster bisque roll thing. Big lobster rolls, yeah. yeah no, not like that. Because well, those, like those are just disgusting messes. Instead of cu cutting along the... The length, they cut it along the, the, the top. top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just a little groove on the top, and then they put the steak sandwich in that. Ooh. Yeah. That was excellent. So and, it was a literal pretzel. Mm-hmm. And no grease. Huh. So the, there wasn't grease eating through the pretzel, which was amazing. 
that's that's a hard thing to achieve with yeah. any type of and sandwich I think, like that. I think it was just like the boilerplate for cheese is like American or cheddar. I yeah. think I think I did provolone. The provolone is the uh, the best cheese. Yeah. When it comes to cheese tasting yeah. like that. Of course. And then they gave me uh, like a Thai chili sauce for that too, and that was excellent. But just the fact that there's no grease dripping out of this was a fucking miracle. I wonder if it had anything to do with the straight pretzel. You know, it being a straight pretzel, because it's denser. I thought that too. Yeah, and it would absorb it better. Um, I was, th- again, I was thinking that too, but, because I I'd, I'd sat with it for maybe about 20 minutes, because I was waiting for uh, the group of people I was with to get food, because they went to all different places. 20 minutes of just sitting with the cheesesteak and not eating it, and it didn't eat through it. So I don't know if... Maybe the, it wasn't real steak. No, it was real steak. It wasn't like a steak or anything like that. It was legit steak. Maybe it was like a hog. <laughs> Everything is fake. <laughs> Everything's a lie. Everything's the Matrix. Never saw that movie either. Uh, you're not missing out on anything? I'm missing out on Keanu Reeves, and that's all I hear about. <sighs> I don't like the Matrix movies. I saw, I've seen all three of them. I saw like the animated vignette series that they did a few years ago. There's an animated one. Yeah, called the Animatrix. All different like animation styles, like stories within the world of the Matrix. That's insane. I love it. It's a good idea, but I just I was underwhelmed and honestly kind of bored by it. Like I was with the Matrix movies. Okay. Why? Like, what about it? Kind of didn't I just, sell it to you. Uh, I don't think anybody did a good job in it. <laughs> the acting wasn't great, and the story just kind of felt uh, like the like the all possibilities for the story had kind of run dry with the first one. Okay. And then by the time the second and third one chugged around, like, what are you doing? What's the point of any of this? Yeah, it's, it kind of became redundant. It, not even it was just stale. Okay. It was just stale and flaccid. <laughs> flaccid. Yeah. <laughs> That's such an ugly word. It's it's a spitting word when you when you use it right though. Yeah. Flaccid just mm-hmm. sounds horrible. Yeah. I'd rather be called a litany of other things. If somebody came out to me he's like, You're flaccid, I'd spicy feel boy. horrible. <laughs> I would I would I would ruin my day being called flaccid. <laughs> it's funny though. Oh, it would be, yeah, the other person would be dying. It would be hilarious. I would feel like crap. (laughs) Like, just go up to any person on the street, specifically male, I would imagine. Oh, yeah. Just go, you're flaccid, and then just walk away. Either A, you'll get beat up, or B, that man's day is completely trash. Or C, he checks himself, and he's like, oh, yeah, you're right. How did you know? (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, buddy. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I was worried. (laughs) I was on my way to a big important meeting, and the last thing I wanted going into this meeting was a raging hard on. One of those anxious boners. <laughs> or excited ones, because like you don't know what the meeting was about. You know, like those. I don't. I don't want my cock to be my laser pointer for my PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> it's not the only thing that stands at attention to the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that that went that went a place. That place was not flaccid, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Certainly was spicy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so where do we go from flaccid? <laughs> Imagine we go up. <laughs> Imagine we go up from here. I, I, there's no other place we can go. <laughs> We're already down. <laughs> oh, I don't. Uh, I don't miss having to do PowerPoints. Oh, I don't miss having to do PowerPoints either. I'd, I'd like making them, but uh, I'm not a fan of having to give them. Yeah, the presenting part yeah. was, was... I'm actually the other way around, funnily enough. Mm-hmm. Um, I prefer going up there and bullshit my way through a, a bunch of PowerPoint slides. Yeah. The making them, I feel like there's so much pressure. No, that's fun, because there's just like a fun little feng shui about it. There is, um, but it's like, I want to get it right. I, is this too much information? Mm-hmm. Too little information? Is this the right picture? Did I cite that picture correctly? Yeah, it was a bunch of additional BS. 
And well, I'd rather just go up there and present the paper. And the whole thing about you're not supposed to read off of it, you're supposed yeah. to have everything memorized, that's a fucking lie. I went to a, a conference a couple years ago about, um, oh, oh, Jesus. Heartburn. Yeah, I'm dying. Hang on. It was all right. It was a conference about uh, the Delaware watershed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and it was it was nothing but PowerPoint presentations, and I had to sit through four or five of them within the day, and each one was just was worse than the last. That thing about not looking at the PowerPoint while you're talking about it, yeah, and having to memorize every point about it is a lie, because these were all accredited scientists. These were fucking doctors, and they all stared. At the PowerPoint as they spoke about it. Wow. I guess at that point, you know, no one can tell you what to do. That's not the point. It's just, you, you, you're doctors. You have yeah. years of experience behind what you're presenting. You Stop looking at the slides. Yeah. You oh. should know what's on the slides. Most of the people because... in, yeah, most of the people in the audience gave up listening 10 minutes into it. Yeah, you just need to have another public speaking class. I I was mad because it was in my favorite museum and I had to sit in these little auditoriums, these little conference <laughs> rooms, and I couldn't go into the museum. Ooh. That that was, I spent I spent my lunch hour there though. Where where was it? Uh, Academy of Natural Sciences in Philly. Thought so. Yeah, it was great. Thought so. That's where I spent my lunch. Ah, yay. Yeah, I didn't want to sit at a table listening to these people talk about themselves. Yeah. That's all it was. Because I scientists are some of the most vultury motherfuckers you'll ever come across. Oh, that makes sense. Though. Yeah, because oh, they, as, soon, uh, as soon as they found out me and the the girl I was also at the conference with, as soon as they found out we were students, and therefore had no credible projects for them to latch themselves onto, they were legit done talking to us. Wow! Like they stopped the conversation halfway through and then just like fucked off. Yeah. Scientists are clicky. That's they are hard. hella clicky. I ate my food, and then spent the rest of the hour just wandering the. Uh, yeah, that sounds better than. Uh, it was great. Like clicky scientist. I got in for free. Hey, that. It was great. It was pretty great. I didn't mind it. That's not bad at all. Getting no. in to see fossils, rocks, dinosaurs. It was just to get away from those people too. Yeah. Definitely, you know, living is always horrible. Um, I even got into like this the, spe- the special exhibit that month for free. Oh, damn. I just showed him the little lanyard, the little pass. <laughs> really, yeah, right yeah you look official. You're wearing a dinosaur tie. You look official. <laughs> <laughs> the only job we're wearing a, a dinosaur okay. tie it makes you look more professional. Which I did. <laughs> well, other than teaching, I would imagine, because I got a pretty nice <laughs> English one. <laughs> <laughs> And it's still just that he's one with globes and stuff on it. Oh, that's like, that's but, like almost stereotypical. Yeah, it's yeah. great. I loved it. I got it for a dollar at the thrift store. I nice. Was like, I need this. I got it four years ago before I even got into college. I was like teacher material. I've spent more money on ties than uncomfortable admitting. <laughs> How many ties do you have? Uh, like twenty or thirty. Damn. I have a lot of ties. 20 doesn't sound like a lot, but 30 does. Yeah. I have like two full racks of ties. I just never counted them. We should take the mic over and count each individual Do we have? No, let's not. Let's totally do that (laughs) right now. We're in the room to do it. I'm not comfortable doing that. You want to count your ties with me? I'm going to hide my shame for now. It's not shameful. Let's let's stick your ties hang free. Let's stick it at like 25 and be done. The people need answers, Casey. I'm not... You know what? Maybe that could be a Struggle City bonus. Well, it could be our first video. We the t- the tie reveal? Yeah, well, the tie re- not even a face reveal, which I've already done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of all of you are a mystery. Hmm. <laughs> but the people need to know, how many ties do you have? And what do they look like? They need to They're know. nice ties. Maybe we could do a an Instagram post about it or something <laughs> about Casey's ties. We'll stick it. We'll stick the number at twenty five right now. And we'll go into your wardrobe. We'll check out your 
cardigans, which yes, you several. stay away from my dad's sweaters. And they are wonderful, and we can do like a little. It's like, a shame it's summer wardrobe. right now. Showcase. It's a shame it's summer right now because I miss my cardigans. It, hey. I, f- I feel naked without them. I wore my jacket like a cardigan the other day, and I looked like the dude. What do you mean you wore it like a cardigan? I had it unzipped. Okay. Yes. You just no. You just had an unzipped jacket. Don't cramp my style. <laughs> <laughs> I want to wear my jacket like a cardigan. You, they just <laughs> wear a cardigan. I can't afford one. <laughs> <laughs> the jacket I was wearing was free, so. <laughs> uh, one of my cardigans was five dollars at Target. That's not the point. <laughs> the people need to see these cardigans, Casey. <laughs> Maybe we could do a special fall line. It's fucking summer. Oh, what are you doing this summer? Working. <laughs> You're not fucking. Um. Anyway. Anyway. I don't even know. I don't even know. That did really quickly. You you were on a point. I don't even remember what. No. I was on a point. You were you were on a point. You had a point, and then you lost it hard. I lost it a while ago. <laughs> <sighs> so back to your ties. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my ties out of this. I think they are tying this conversation together, and we need to continue on with this. Okay, so then, if you want to obsess about my clothing, then we can talk about my drawer full of socks. Oh, right, right, right. You know what? We could just do an entire Casey, like, fall No, no, line. no, we can't. No, we can't. Oh, my God. I'm I've been a... wanting to create merch. I'm not okay with any I of this. I am okay 110%. I hate all of those. I hate this 3,000. I hate this 3,000. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate this 3,000, Dave, and I hate you 6,000. Oh, that's fine. At least I, I went up. <laughs> you double. <laughs> I'm double. Yes. What kind of socks do you got? The kind you wear on your feet, you fucking psycho. I see you're wearing Black Panther ones right now. Black Panther ankle socks. No. No, they're not. What are they? I wouldn't wear Black Panther anything. That's fine. It's Rick and Morty. The Rick and Morty. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> it's fucking psycho. <laughs> do you have Bigfoot socks? I do. How many? I think I only have one pair. You only have one pair? Yeah. You need to change that. No, I don't. Ooh, alright, so speaking of weird clothing choices, um, <laughs> my, I've, one of my managers at work he usually shows up with like a vest and tie sometimes. Mm-hmm. It doesn't do anything strenuous, so you can do that. We'll call him Manager C. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the, the the new hires at the time, because he was hired back in October, Halloween rolls around, the new hire shows up dressed as my manager. <laughs> Damn it, I wish I was there. So he shows up in an ill-fitting uh, shirt, vest, and tie yes. that he did not tie at all. I love it. That is the best. And work pants and dress shoes. Mind you, he works in the stock room. That is the best representation of Manager C I've ever heard of. <laughs> and I love it. And keep in mind, this employee is basically the token idiot of the store. Yeah. We only keep him for one day a week. And we can't trust him to do anything unsupervised. Oof. Mm hmm. That sucks. But did one thing, right? What? That was to come in, dress as manager, see. Jesus, you know, no, it wasn't. That was hilarious. It's it was entirely impractical considering he worked in the stock room. It, that's fine. It was, he suffered for the joke. That was, it was almost as bad as the girl that worked back there wearing a dress. Suffering for the joke. But she was just wearing a dress because it was a dress. Oh, that's different. That's that's. A, she can wear a dress if she wants to wear a dress. She can. It's just, it was just kind of ill-themed for her working in a stock room. Yeah, it didn't make much sense <laughs> for the environment she, that if she you, was in. If she worked on the main floor, that's fine. Not when you have to deal with pallets and boxes. And markers. Sure, because markers are an issue. <laughs> 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 sure. Uh. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, the moral of that story is people don't make smart de- decisions at my job. No. Mm-mm. No, I can I can attest I once worked there. Yeah. At Job Inc. 
Job and Job Inc. Job Inc. At, uh, with Job Co. Manager C. I was there. I've been there. I've done that. Yeah. But now you've you moved on to, to Pet Job. Yeah, Pet Job. <laughs> Big old Pet Job. Which is... Ooh, I don't, wait, no. I wanted to retract that because Pet Job doesn't sound good. What, you'd never go to a Pet Job? I'd, I'd rather not get a Pet Job. <laughs> You, you see, you see where I'm going with that? Yeah, job? yeah. Would you give a pet job? No, I don't like it. Nope, <laughs> I don't like any of this. Not even with a porcupine. I'm, I'm so bad news. I'm going to 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 burn the microphone tonight because I hate all of this conversation. As long as you do it in a sacrificial type way, to, I hate... to rid all of the evil spirits no, just, that are within this thing. I'm just gonna burn it. I I don't like it. So you're gonna release the spirits within the mic? Sure. Yeah, oh That's god, shame. this is bad. <laughs> I hope you and that porcupine are happy. There, there's no porcupine, Dave. Stop this. <laughs> no. This is this is a terrible thing, Dave. I mean, it's not as bad as, uh... Let's bring it back around. Spicy jam. That, that was a thing. Spicy jam. It's the sequel to Space Jam, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, Shaq. <laughs> he goes, ooh. And he waves his hand in front of his mouth. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I didn't think about the reference. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, Casey, you're definitely posting something about your tithe. I already did. No. Oh. Yeah. Your ties are not as nice as mine, though. No, that's why we need your ties. <laughs> These aren't even my ties. They're my estranged father's ties. Oh, uh, you just stole them after you killed them. No, he just never... He wasn't classy enough to wear ties, so... Uh, fair enough. He usually came off when he was getting absolutely shit-faced at the wedding, so... Oh, Jesus. Well, what else is there to do at a wedding? True. This is very true. Yeah. There's, there's a good chance I'm going to get a little shitty at your wedding. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> the last wedding I went to, I don't remember. Uh, the last wedding I was at, I, was, I couldn't drink because I was going out later that night to drink. So just drink later on in the night at the wedding... I didn't stay the whole night because uh, I just didn't want to. Uh, all right. <laughs> I sat in a corner and read a book. <laughs> okay. I know we haven't talked about this. And this was... Is this another one of your dumb polls? Yes, it is. But it's, Christ. It is a better poll. It came up on an IMDb ad. It was opening weekend for both Elton John, the oh, Elton John movie, yeah. and the Godzilla movie. I haven't, I haven't seen Elton John yet. I heard it was great. I heard it was, I heard it was okay. Yeah, you know, it was like it, it was a a biography. It was a biopic. They all they so, all follow a formula. Some spicy jam inside of it, and inside Elton John. Um, but the poll is the barrier breaker and the city destroyer in a fight to the death. Who would win? And it's a fight to the death between Elton John and Godzilla. Who do you you, think you said win? this was better? Yes, it made it makes more sense. Are you sure? No. Oh, no, Dave. No. I'm not sure at all. This is why you do bad at the social media. We got 40 followers. <laughs> we got 20. What do you mean who would win? Yeah, who would win? What do you mean who would win? Let's just say hypothetically Elton John's guitar possessed magical powers. And he was able to play an epic chord like in that Spongebob movie and he'd be able to lay like, shoot out of his guitar. Would he be able to defeat Godzilla? This is dumb. <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> One's a gay senior citizen. The other's Godzilla, king of the monsters. Okay. And your point is? It's pretty cut and dry. Well, I mean, I know which way you voted. Right, I know which way I voted too. Yeah. Because this is one poll I actually do remember for some reason. You, it, it, this one has ended. I'm sure everybody went Elton John. Well, it was more split than you'd think. It mm. was 53% Elton John, 47% Godzilla. So Elton John won. By a margin. Yeah. You know, not by much. I demand a recount. Okay. Demand a recount. We no. abolish the Electoral College because it was hacked. By Japanese monster makers. If that were the case, do you think... Because they wanted the underdog to win... And Godzilla will rise again. 
David. No. No. I hate it. Cool, I'm just turning this off now. <laughs> Man, if I had a dollar for every time you said that, I'd have three dollars. Today alone, yes. <laughs> just today. <laughs> So much for riffing. Oh, we riffed pretty good. <laughs> Looking at the time, we're at like 35 and a half minutes. I think that's, that's the maximum amount of time that one is allowed to riff. We're riffing. We're riffing. And we're riffing right into the season finale. <laughs> <laughs> the series finale. Yeah. Goodbye, folks. <laughs> it's nice knowing you. This marvelously failed experiment. <laughs> This is the last time we'll rift. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we gotta do it again. Yeah. Out of sheer necessity, we will riff. <laughs> yep. That's all, folks. Like, follow, follow us on all the things. Like us. Hate us. No longer on iMusic, but Apple Tunes, right? Yeah, whatever that's or is it, Or is it iTunes and Apple Music? I don't know. I don't follow up with Apple. I don't either. I just I knew it was a thing. All I know is that we're we're on. If you look into the company Apple's podcast app, we will be there. <laughs> Just give us a search, Struggle City. You can Google us now; and we'll pop up too. We're some of the first. That's true. That's pretty awesome. In my That's opinion. nice. I've never Googled myself or anything I've been associated with. Probably for the best. Yeah. Probably for the best. And it's pretty cool coming up first. <laughs> it gives me hope. Had to happen eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, share with your family. Share with your enemies. Just laugh at us. Doesn't matter. Just give us them views. We even appreciate thumbs down. Because in YouTube... It, it doesn't matter, nothing. yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down means literally nothing. Yeah, all, all... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you give us a thumbs up, it's good. If you give us a thumbs down, it's also good. It's great. You're, you're watching us. So mm -hmm. thanks for your time. It just registers the, the view and adds to YouTube's weird algorithms. Yeah. Good job. I mean, it's a good thing we don't get ads yet. That means we can't get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> we just need 1,969 more of you to subscribe. Is that 2,000? We need 969 more of you to subscribe. <laughs> I can I'm, math. That's fine. <laughs> I have discalculate. I can't math. I don't, I don't know how I can math. <laughs> Um, that's why I'm cleaning toilets now, actually. Oh, fun. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. Yeah. Anyway, till next time.